Hi, welcome to Do Info. Yesterday I was trying to back up my iPhone. I was keep receiving this error message that there is no storage. But there is a storage. I purchased the iPhone uh, backup storage, which is 50 gigabyte, and uh, I thought that should be enough. You can see there is a storage. It's a 5.4 gigabyte only full out of 50 gigabyte. So when I go to setting iCloud and the iCloud backup, I can see there is an error message. I tried multiple ways to fix this, but I can show you the best way how you can get rid of and the what's the solution. I tried it to turn off the uh, Wi-Fi and try to do the backup on the cellular data but it was still giving the same error message i tried to turn it off and then try to do the backup on the wi-fi again but it's still giving me the same error message so then I, I searched around and thought that's the best solution I can share with you guys and uh, it's, it's kind of understanding what to do when you caught up in this kind of situation. You can see here it's still giving me error message. Wait a second, here, here you go. So. You can see here I have a 50 gigabyte storage and out of like about like a 6 gigabyte is full and the 44 is free. If you go to settings, tap your Apple ID, iCloud, then manage account setting, then scroll down for the backup. then click on iPhone you can see here next backup size just wait a bit and it will load up here here so 89 gigabyte so it's about like a 90 gigabyte the next backup would be this big so I got a lot of videos and the pictures but I have a storage for only 50 gigabyte so how come a 90 gigabyte will uh, fit in this like a 45 free space so I, I figured that was the main issue so I went down and see what I can do to free up some space so after deleting some pictures I went down to the same spot and see what would be the next backup size now and see if we can still fit in that free space and if you press here the backups iPhone and wait a few seconds it's still 64 gigabyte 64 gigabyte won't fit in free space of 44 gigabyte so the solution is you need to match your backup size with your free space so if your next backup size is smaller than your free space then you are good you won't be receiving any error message either you have only a free plan of 5 gigabyte of storage and you don't have a lot of videos and pictures you are good as long your next backup size is smaller so when i purchased the space of 200 gigabyte and uh, you can see now i have a 200 gigabyte free space and now let's see if as compared to the my previous 50 gigabyte free space now we can try to do 
the same backup and we'll see if this give us the any error message or not because our next backup size now is about yeah so, so the looks like this will fit now let's go to the iCloud backup and the press the backup now here yeah I have turned off the backup for some application so it's okay let's see if it give us any error message or not wait a bit last time I got the error message at this point so hopefully I will not oh it looks like it's starting again so you can see about one minute remaining and and slowly slowly the time will increase that um, as soon it will uh, try to find the more files and uh, and the pictures in the backup so it looks like it's working uh, I hope you like the video if you have any questions or concern or if you having a same kind of issue and uh, you found another solution please uh, comment down below and uh, we will mm, try to figure that out those issues and the solution as well thank you i will catch you up in the next video until then bye bye